first tonight. The Chamorro Land Trust Commission is going to begin the process of terminating the lease for the Guam Resource Recovery Partners due to non-payment. GRP has leased CLTC property for years with the hopes of building a waste to energy incinerator. Here's more. The commissioners on our meeting last week voted to begin the process to terminate the lease, to hold the GRP in default for failure to pay what amounts to roughly two years' worth of rent. The Guam Resource Recovery Partners, or GRRP, owe the Chamorro Land Trust over $107,000 for leasing property. This is the site where GRRP wants to build a waste-to-energy incinerator and landfill. CLTC Administrator Mike Borja says the last time they paid, they dropped a check off and then stopped payment on the check. We were actually having a, uh, an agenda discussion to hold them in default because of a lack of payment. At the time, they owed about $44,000. And when the subject was brought up on the agenda, the representative from GRRP presented a payment check to the, to the commission, and uh, the discussion was over because we received our payment. When we deposited the check with the Department of Administration, the next day they advised us that there was a stop payment done on the check. Bora says that a couple of days later, GRRP then made a partial payment on the total, leaving a balance of about $24,000 in rent. Then they stopped paying altogether and haven't paid since. Wagdi Gerges of GRRP told the CLTC that he could hold the Land Trust Commission in default of their license agreement because former CLTC Chairman Oscar Calvo testified in a public hearing against GRRP obtaining a Guam EPA permit. The license with the CLTC requires that the CLTC support GRRP in obtaining licenses and permits necessary to conduct their business. But the Chamorro Land Trust Commission had never issued any motions or a resolution that was against the GRRP licensee. And uh, to this day, we still have not. Borja says the CLTC then thought that they had come to an agreement last December when they again met with Mr. Gerges. We had come to an agreement that he would pay me the balance of what he owed the, uh, the Chamorro Land Trust Commission, and we would give him a letter that said verbatim, right from the license agreement, that we would support GRRP in obtaining any of their license or permits necessary to conduct their business. That agreement was then concurred by our, our, our own attorneys, by his attorney as well, and that his attorney was going to be in receipt of both his payment check and our letter. He never dropped off the payment check, and he never got our letter. So since last December, the GRRP has simply not paid any rent for the property it is leasing from the CLTC. Now it is behind 24 months or two years' worth of rent. If they want to maintain their contract, they have to make their payments. And if they make their payments, then we're good. As far as how long it will take to terminate the lease, Borja says they're still reviewing all of the laws that are applicable to ensure that everything is done properly. But in the meantime... Well, we're looking forward um, and looking ahead. You know, if, if in the event this, ter this contract is terminated, then we want to make sure that the land is still available for use, for commercial use. The area can be up to a light industrial use, so um, there's, there's a lot of potential that can be out there, and there's that kind of activity out there. I mean, there's also a lot of growth going on and talk going on in the community about alternative sources of energy, and that takes up some space. Bora says that the GRP has not negatively impacted the land, so the only real issue that the CLTC has with GRP is their failure to pay rent.